Hi everyone, good morning or good afternoon, depending on when you are watching this. My name is Natalie Sanchez and I will be one of your band directors for this year. And I'm really excited about this year and I look forward to meeting all of you guys through Zoom and later in person. Uh, I have been teaching for 20 years. This is gonna be my 20th year and I've taught six through 12th grade. I've, I graduated from Wesico High School and I live here and I was born and raised here. So I'm very familiar with the community and with all the students. So I'm really excited to be with you guys this year. My main instrument is the clarinet and I will be working with the students that play clarinet. So a little bit about the clarinet. The clarinet is in the woodwind family. This is an instrument that you would have to purchase for yourself. And we'll give you more details about that later. Now, what does it look like, okay? The clarinet is pretty small. The case looks like this, okay? Now, when you open it up, which if you have your instrument, please do not open it up, but the inside of the case is gonna look like this, okay? Now, the clarinet, like I said, is in the woodwind family. What I really like about the clarinet is that it plays really low sounds and really, really high sounds. It plays low, middle, high. So for example, if I wanna play low, you're gonna hear something like this. And then my mid sound. And then your really high sounds. And what's really cool about this instrument is if you have annoying little brothers and sisters that you want to kick out of your room, it's very easy to make loud and annoying sounds. Now, I normally don't want you to make these sounds, but if you want to kick your brothers and sisters out, you can do something like this. And hopefully that'll be annoying enough to get them out of your room. Okay. Now, like I said, the clarinet plays low, middle, high. I'm going to play a song for you guys and you can tell me if you recognize it. All right, so hopefully you recognize that song. Let me hear your guesses. I may not be able to hear you, but you can say them. If you guessed A Whole New World, Good job, you are correct. Now let me play one more song for you if I can get this music to work for me. Hopefully you recognize that as be our guest from Beauty and the Beast. Now, coincidentally, both those songs were movies and cartoons. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, also, just a reminder, on this instrument, you need these little things. They are called reeds. And once you purchase the instrument, you will continuously have to buy these. So you want to make sure your parents are going to be okay with buying you this instrument. Now, a couple of things about clarinet. Um, since you roll, when you play, you're going to roll your bottom lip over your teeth. So you want to make sure that your teeth are not extremely, extremely crooked. Mine are a little bit crooked, but if one of them sticks out really bad over time, as you bend your lip over your tooth, it might hurt. Okay. So just be careful there. One of the other things that you need for playing clarinet, one of the most important thing is your pinkies. Okay. If you have really short pinkies, you're going to have problems playing these bottom notes. Because as you can see, this pinky has to reach all of these keys and this pinky has to reach all of these keys. OK, so if you have shorter pinkies, you're not going to be able to reach these keys and then you're not going to be successful playing the instrument. OK, the second thing is you don't want your fingers to be too skinny. OK, because if they're super skinny, if you can see the holes, they're not covered. You have to cover it with your fingers. So if you have really skinny fingers, you won't cover the hole all the way and then the sound won't be produced. So you kind of want to check your fingers uh, make sure to make sure that they're not too skinny, okay? So just a couple things for clarinet. Just be careful with your teeth. Make sure that they're not too crooked, 
uh, so it won't hurt your lip. The sides of your pinkies, which is the most important thing, and also your other fingers to make sure they are not too skinny. If for some reason they are too skinny, then your better bet would probably be the saxophone. But I think clarinet is a really, really awesome instrument. I enjoy playing it and I can't wait to teach you guys to sound like this and to make lots of music. Thank you. Bye-bye.